Hey y'all, so I want to keep reading in our um, Psalm 1 book, and I want to look at this idea of everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. And let's go, first of all, to Mark chapter 4. All right, now you know this as the parable of the sower, right? Or the sower sows the word. Um, and then it goes, I won't read the whole the whole parable, all of those verses, but it talks about the seed or the sower um, sowing along the paths. Um, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> um, sown along the path. Okay, and then there's those that are sown along the stony ground, and then those that are sown among the thorns, and then in verse 20, it talks about, and those sown on the good, well-adapted soil are the ones who hear the word, receive and accept and welcome it and bear fruit sometimes 30 times as much, sometimes 60, and some even 100 times as much as was sown. And so when we put that word in our hearts, when we sow it, we have to be cautious, cognizant. I'm, I'm actually looking out my window at our field. They just came and disked it um, Friday night, I guess. So I'm looking at this well-cultivated field um, that's ready for seed to be sown. Before he dissed that field, you could have planted seed and it would not have grown. He can plant seed on my sidewalk. It's not going to grow. The seed, the word, has to go in a heart that's ready to receive it. So, um, that's actually one of the things that we talk about in the Psalm 1 book. You see, just because you meditate on his word and keep it before your eyes day and night does not mean you will never be in the middle of the storm, right? The purpose of meditating on his words, his laws, and instructions is that so when you're in a storm, you've got something that will keep you standing, fixed, and established. Um, we have to have soil. We have to have a heart that's ready to take in that word. Um, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if we want to build our faith, we're going to have to keep putting that word in our hearts. So the word is sown on good soil and it bears fruit, bears much fruit. So that's from Mark 4. And let's look at Mark 4, 30. Jesus said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God or what parable shall we use to illustrate and explain it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all seeds upon the earth. Yet after it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all garden herbs and puts out large branches so that the birds of the air are able to make nests and dwell in its shade. I love, love, love this because the word planted produces. Who does it produce for? Not just us, but those around us experience the kingdom of God. When that mustard tree grows up, it produces for animals. It says it puts out large branches so the birds of the air are able to make nests and dwell in its shade. So when you and I are this tree, right? When we are this tree, firmly planted in place, established, we're set in the ground for growth, then our leaf shall not fade or wither and everything we do shall prosper and come to maturity. If we go back to the very beginning of this Psalm 1, we defined prosperous. So, everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. Prosper is be successful, right? The definitions that I have here for prosperous are favorable, 
marked by success or economic well-being, enjoying vigorous and healthy growth and success. That's what our lives should be marked with and not just for our benefit, but for the benefit of those around us. That when we bear fruit, the Father is glorified. If you go to um, John chapter 15, and we'll talk about this later in Psalm 1, so I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, but it um, ties in so perfectly here. John 15 verse 8, it says, When you bear and produce fruit, my Father is honored and glorified, and you show and prove yourselves to be true followers of mine. When we grow and bear or produce fruit, God is glorified. And you know, it's a circle here. <laughs> it's Him in us that produces it's him in us that produces. He's the one that keeps us, that holds us. It's his word that we've put in us produces and it glorifies him. All right, we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.